We've learned that the government estimated all along that millions of workers will be dropped from their employee insurance under the Affordable Care Act, and for some, it's already happening. New Hampshire small business owner Nancy Clark was featured last year in a White House video blog. The health care law is about people like me. It's Nancy Care. But things haven't gone quite according to plan for Nancy Care. Last month, her insurer said it was hiking rates 39% starting next year. That's a $30,000 increase in cost to her. I didn't take it seriously because I have the opportunity to go on healthcare.gov. So Clark decided to terminate the insurance she's offered her eight employees and turn to Obamacare. But there's been one problem after another. We're experiencing technical difficulties. That's the nature of the beast. Biggest problem is going to be... Virginia Beach business owner Betsy Atkinson is also canceling company insurance because her plan doesn't meet new Obamacare requirements and she can't afford to offer employees one that does. They're going to have to go find their own insurance. I'm sorry. White House spokesman Jay Carney has given repeated assurances that nothing will change for those insured through work. They don't have to worry about or do or change anything. This conversation doesn't apply to you. There is no change for you. But in 2010, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services estimated Obamacare would collectively reduce the number of people with employer-sponsored health coverage by about 14 million. The reason is some big companies will opt to save by paying the relatively small penalty for dropping employee insurance. Small businesses don't have to supply insurance and may find new policies too costly 